The challenge is sustaining inventory. There's a few different type of inventories that we regularly have to stock. Number one, sealed product. Loose pack, booster boxes, elite trainer boxes, whatever the case is. The next two is singles and slaps. Okay, now let's talk about each one of those individually. Now, sealed product, pretty easy. Most of it comes from distribution. It is allocated depending on our history of the account, all that jazz. Any new set comes out, we put in X amount of pre-order. We generally get, you know, half. We get a, we get a percentage of what we want. Uh, that sustains us. We order as much as we think we need and we use it up over time. Now, restocking that later down the road is a whole nother story. The two far more challenging is singles and slaps. Uh, and then there's something to be said about doing them all in tandem. Now, recently we hired someone to stream for us on TikTok. Now these streams are all pack rips, loose packs, sealed product primarily with a dabble of other stuff like giveaways and, and singles where we can, we can do it. Now this has created an entirely new process for us is we now have to sustain inventory for the card shows, our online store, and now TikTok streams. So if you don't know anything about these streams or have never seen them, well, people like the rip. Totally cool, Pokemon's fun, it's fun to open. Now, if we do a couple lives uh, in a week span, uh, hundreds of packs I'm missing, which creates a need for me to replenish those packs. And over time, these packs get more and more expensive. So this all here is that exact solution. So the problem is I'm running out of loose packs especially card shows lately where, you know, Crown Zenith is going up in value. So people are chasing those packs and one or two or three people will come to the show and just clear out my, these pack dispensers. Now these are usually pretty full, except for, you know, right now I have almost no chilling rain and no brilliant stars. And thankfully I have evolving skies. I'm running low on shining fates and you know, anything like early Scarlet, um, sorry, anything early sword and shield, I'm getting pretty low on. Now I was lucky to secure some product from distribution uh, all sealed products that I now have to break down and pull the loose packs on. Mainly Crown Zenith, Paldean Fates, Silver Tempest. We have some brilliant stars that I've actually had tucked away. They're uh, a pre-release box, comes with uh, 10 of these building battle boxes. So thankfully, I was lucky to, to get that inventory. Again, this causes, this creates a bunch of work on me, on us to break down the product, get, get rid of the cardboard, recycle the plastic. It, it's, it's a whole ordeal and then ship them off to our streamer who then rips them and then I'll have to do this again next week. Now there's a whole other set of products that need to be replenished very regularly, singles and slaps. Now these, where they come from, it, we have a few different avenues to, to replenish, mainly card shows. Card shows bring in all, I would say 80% of the, car, the singles and slabs that we usually will sell over a month or two period of time, depending on what show, how big it is and how much cash we have on hand in order to spend on these buys. Uh, that will kind of determine the future. Uh, but generally, anything we're buying or trading for at shows is what is replenishing the binders, the singles, the slabs, the things that you generally will see in our display cases, little knickknacks and sometimes vintage packs. And those things generally come from shows. So it's a little bit safer to buy. You don't have to really worry about shipping and it getting you know something happening in transit. So card shows are generally the better better avenue for that. The other 20%, people find us through our social medias, our website, they'll email us, they'll message us on Instagram or some other social media platform, they will reach out to us. Now this, I don't love this, this uh, strategy, mainly due to the time involved. It's very cumbersome, there's a lot of, hey, do you have pictures? So Instagram kind of degrades the picture sometimes, you can't zoom in and get quality. Uh, these, are, these are problems and I don't, again, it takes, it takes more time. I'd rather just wait a week or two until the next show and then knowingly get uh, an influx of, of cards and slabs. Plus, you get to look at each card individually and nothing beats seeing the card in person, looking at condition, lighting, you know. You don't get all those details from pictures over the internet. It just, it just doesn't happen. Now, slabs, the same idea. Uh, those are kind of bundled in together. But that's gener generally it. You know, there's uh, trickle in the occasional collection in between all that, if, depending on what kind of you know, depending on if someone reached out to us and they have a bunch, a huge collection, maybe it's old, maybe it's new, maybe it's a lot of sealed product, maybe it's single slab sealed product and little like knickknacks like tournament stuff or, you know, like pins and all sorts of stuff. That comes in uh, regularly, once, or, once a month or two. So it, that's another strategy. It comes in, we don't generally seek it out, but it will come to us and, you know, if it makes sense, we'll chase it. Sometimes we'll travel for it, you know, all sorts of stuff. Just depends, depends on what we need. It, our need 
changes all the time. Like right now, for example, I'm really good on slabs. I bought a lot of slabs at Collecticon Orlando. And singles kind of looking shaky in some, some areas, a lot of vintage. I'm pretty sure two or three vendors, you know, probably streamers, uh, they cleared us out of all of our Watsi hollows, English and Japanese. You know, I have very little. I, where I had a lot two weeks ago, now I have very little. So now I have a need to replenish that. And packs, too. I never really had to use to replenish packs regularly, mainly because we weren't streaming heavy and we were only selling sealed product at shows. Well, that has changed since we've ramped up streaming on multiple platforms, whatnot, and TikTok. So a little interesting tidbit. Again, the, the needs of the business, the, let me rephrase that the inventory needs of the business change very rapidly from week to week. So, it, you know, who knows what I need this week? Like, for example, I'm breaking down Silver Tempest, Chaldean Faith Tins, and a boatload of Crown Zenith. This is, I can, this is where I found it the cheapest. So these come with seven packs, a playmat, and the more Pico Marnie promos. I got them from distribution. Uh, they were under $4 a pack. I don't quite remember. Three, three and some change. It made sense because uh, I'm sold out. So have none or get some at a reasonable price. 